constitution. Hence, uh, there's been a lot of debate about this, but I spoke with Michael Mansell this morning and also too with Michael Anderson, and uh, we certainly do oppose what's being proposed at the moment. Because the proposal at the moment, one very key issue in that, in the proposal by government at the moment, through the election and um, appointment of their elite group of uh, so-called speakers on behalf of Aboriginal people, is the fact that it doesn't recognise us as Indigenous people, as first owners, as first peoples and first nation people in this country. And the international law, that which should have been addressed by James Cook when he came here, is that he had to sign treaty with the Indigenous people. And they failed to do that. And that if they watered down that part of the Constitution, it may water down Aboriginal people's place from a sovereignty perspective and from a treaty perspective in this nation. And we do suspect and believe that this is the will and the intent of this government. And it doesn't matter which, whether it be Labor or Liberal, both have been in collusion to steal and to continuously steal from Aboriginal people our land, our resources, our rights. We only need to look to the Northern Territory intervention to see that that was a piece of legislation that didn't even go through Parliament. We call ourselves a democratic nation, but it did not pass through Parliament. It was an executive decision of Parliament that made the decision that, they, that is, the politicians of this federal nation did not discuss that the horrific, racist legislation that we as Indigenous pe people have been subjected to. And uh, we only need to see the editor of the National Indigenous that proved it was an absolute lie. It was a fabrication, a collusion with the media at the time, and hence we had this horrific legislation. Therefore, how can we trust them? How can we trust the government who have attempted to destroy Aboriginal people and deny us of our rights and steal from us, in this case, under the Northern Territory legislation, our freedoms and our liberties? And uh, this is a big issue. So um, let us not forget, lest we forget... Uh, and if we forget, it will, it will be to our peril. And so, um, not to forget too, how can we trust this government? Particularly um, Jenny Macklin, Federal Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, who was reported in the Australian newspaper just recently, how they have pilfered and stolen Aboriginal funds. A fund, which is the Aboriginal Benefit, uh, Benefit Fund, which was set up in the 1970s, which now has accrued something like $400 million, that that government, this government, and other governments, liberal governments, have been using those funds uh, to put into place their party, their party policies, to put into place infrastructure that should be paid for uh, by general revenue coming out of federal government. It should not come out of the personal, private savings of the Aboriginal people. Like stolen wages, this is theft, not only of our land, our resources, our rights, but this is our obvious wages and money. And uh, not to forget that this really, they should be condemned for this act. They should come to trial. And the Auditor General of this nation is, is, has raised it and raised his concerns. So I'd like everyone to keep their eye, particularly on that issue. So it's really lest we forget, we need to monitor what's going on. And uh, we need to um, certainly keep an eye on the issues of rights, liberties and freedoms. And uh, that's what we need to look at. In, particularly in 2012, which is our freedom of speech. And I'll just close on this. Because our freedom of speech, which is our liberty, is one of our greatest things that we have and is one of the fa foundation cornerstones of this nation. And if we don't have freedom of speech and there's legislation coming up at the moment, uh, then we will not be exercising our full democratic rights. It's going to be a test of this country's leadership in this nation. See how much the corporations, the corpocracy that is, that is ruling this nation, that controls both the Liberal Party and Labor Party, whenever there's an election, they're guaranteed that they're going to get their policies up through their think tanks with their CEOs, general managers, and their um, chairmen all sit on those. So they're guaranteed there that their policies will always arise. So. Um, Let's keep our mind on our freedoms and liberties. Let's not forget, and let's also remember that this is a very important day. It is lest we forget. Keep in mind, too, the International Human Rights Day at the end of the year on the 10th of December each year. Not to forget that we've got the 26th of January, the, uh, the uh, whole of the meeting that's going to occur in Canberra around the tent embassy, which is a very significant uh, gathering of Aboriginal people that's going to occur on the 26th of January. There's going to be a screening as well 
by Socialist Alliance of the, um, the 11th of February of the history of the Tin Embassy and other events, and not to forget as well the continuous ongoing murder of Aboriginal people in prisons, the overrepresentation of Aboriginal people in prisons, uh, and um, the fact that prisons are controlled by corporations, circa, and that uh, prisons is the greatest burgeoning business of the corporates. Let us forget and let us not forget the great work of Tanaminawai and Malboy Hina. Thank you.